vegan cookie dough ice cream. Hi, I'm It's Fit Money Wilson. Welcome back to my channel. Today, just a fun, light-hearted grocery haul. So all the food you see here today, I'm gonna be creating obviously something very delicious. So make sure to head over to my Instagram so you can see my yummy recipes. All right, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna start with drinks because I have a lot of drinks and I should say this again if you don't know. I am gluten-free, dairy-free, and soy-free. I am not a vegan, but I do eat a lot of vegan products because they are dairy-free. So let's start out with some yummy drinks. Um, cold brew, because cold brew is a must. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love Zevia. And they were out of stock of my favorite one, so like the Instacart delivery person just picked out black cherry for me, which I've never had black cherry. I'm actually gonna try it right now. I'm gonna be honest, it kinda tastes like medicine. I don't know, fake cherry just is like a medicine taste to me, but I do love their grape. I do not get a medicine taste off of grape, but my all-time favorite is root beer and cream soda. They are zero everything. You can literally find them anywhere that you shop at a grocery store. They're so good, um, but don't get the black cherry. <laughs> Couple more drinks here. I have been really enjoying this brand called Aloha. They are gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, no GMO, just all around, just organic, good for you, yummy company. And I have not tried the coconut. I've been trying to order the coconut, but they've been out of stock. And I'm so glad that they have the coconut in stock, but I've been doing this chocolate one and it is so delicious. I just think it's wild that it has 18 grams of like plant-based protein and they don't make me feel bloated and they're just, they're just good. Speaking of Aloha, I have been obsessed with their mint chocolate bars. These are a perfect snack. They have 14 grams of protein. Um, again, they don't have any of the added anything. And then last time I ordered groceries, I got some of their peanut butter and I really enjoyed the peanut butter. This is a new find for me. This is unsweetened almond creamer. It's made with raw macadamia nuts and coconut cream. This is dairy-free, vegan, lactose-free, soy-free, gluten-free, cholesterol-free, carcinogenesis-free, all of the free, sugar-free, everything. This just looked really, really good. And I add a lot of like these like sugar-free syrups in my coffee, so I don't need something with like a lot of sugar. You know what I mean? Like I already have my flavor from something else, so. I thought I would try this out and I will let you know over on Instagram how I like that. More coffee creamer. I love coffee creamer and I actually use it sometimes when I make desserts. Like if I'm doing like frozen bananas, like a little like milkshake sort of thing, I like to add creamer in it to make it creamier. If you haven't had nut pods, they're very, very good. Plant-based, unsweetened, dairy-free, soy-free, keto-friendly, paleo-friendly. They're just a friendly company. This is taking a long time. I know I'm just gonna power through. I got some vegan ranch from Daya. Highly recommend that. I got some buffalo sauce because I'm gonna be making cauliflower wings. I absolutely love cauliflower wings, but they're very expensive from like a local restaurant I really like. So I'm gonna try to make it and you can go over to my Instagram, follow me there, and I will definitely put the recipe up if it tastes good. The recipe calls for butter, so I got some plant-based butter. I haven't tried this one, but I don't think you could go wrong with plant-based olive oil, dairy-free butter. So I'm excited to try this. And then I got some sesame oil, some barbecue sauce. So for the cauliflower wings, I'm gonna do hot ones, and then I'm also gonna do a barbecue sauce. If you haven't had this barbecue sauce, I highly recommend. It is sugar-free, they have lots of different kinds. I got the honey kind, because I like sweet stuff, but they also have like a spicy one, and then their original, and then like a tangy. So if you haven't seen this before, I definitely recommend trying this out. It is a lot more runnier than like a traditional barbecue sauce but it's still very 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 good just two little things of seaweed i like to crunch on these snack on them so i just got two of them i guess um they picked out wasabi so i'm gonna have some spicy seaweed protein is important to me and i love cooking with chicken i was kind of burnt out on chicken for a long time i went like a couple weeks not making chicken and now i'm just i'm craving it again and then i also got I just knocked over something. Um, I also got some shrimp. This is cooked shrimp and you keep it in the freezer 
It is so easy and convenient. You just pull it out the night before and then and the next day you have shrimp that you can eat and you don't have to cook it. I know myself and sometimes I get very, very busy and I just need to eat something and I didn't prepare something and so I just grabbed one of these. So this is just a little burrito. It is non-dairy, gluten-free, plain, simple. It just has beans in it. Another thing that I love to keep in my freezer is chicken nuggets. Sometimes my stomach just hurts because of my medication I'm on for PCOS. Sometimes I just don't have time. And sometimes I'm just craving chicken nuggets. So I just like to keep chicken nuggets in my freezer. I don't have to give you a reason. Just a couple more things. I keep butternut squash in my freezer. It is so convenient just to put a little bit of olive oil on it. And then I throw it in my air fryer over here. And then I just, it's just so easy. I will usually eat this butternut squash with like quinoa. Or I will have just like some chicken nuggets in this because I can put them in the air fryer at the same time. I got some just plain peanuts. One, because I have crows that bring me stuff. And if you want me to talk more about that, I totally will. But I have crows that bring me stuff and they need peanuts. And I also need peanuts because I'm going to be making some pad thai for myself. Vegan cookie dough ice cream. I only need a couple bites to like satisfy me. Like this little pint lasts me a long time because I used to get like like Halo Top, for example. And I'd be like, oh, I can eat the whole pint and it's so nice and I can and just enjoy it. But I was not actually never satisfied eating a whole pint because there's something about it. it. Like it wasn't creamy. It just was, it's still fine. But if you just have a couple bites of this and it just satisfies me, it's good. I like to keep sweets in the freezer so I don't like binge later on. That's something I've learned about myself. If I keep sweets out of the house then I will go on a mission and binge on sweets so if you just have a couple spoonfuls of some yummy yummy ice cream everything's fine everything's fine and balanced chicken nuggets fine balance the last thing I got today in my grocery haul is some all-purpose mixing flour and that is I want to bread my cauliflower wings while the person on Instacart was shopping for me today I got a knock on my door and that knock was from no other then Bob's Red Mill. I have four bags of gluten-free flour now, and I wanna do a giveaway, so make sure to follow me over on Instagram, and I will do a giveaway for this because there's no way I can go through four bags. I like to bake, I like to cook, don't get me wrong, but that's a lot of flour, and I would love to be able to share the love with you. Okay, I know I said that's the last thing, but I lied. This is the last thing. Oh, it's so cute. Um, Bob's Red Mill is amazing if you don't know their brand. I highly recommend checking out Bob. Bob, you're great. Thank you for everything that you do. You're amazing. So down in the comments below, let me know what is something that you want to try out that I showed you today. Was there something new that you've never seen? Or let me know your favorite item that I showed you today. And if you made it to the end of the video, please leave a shopping cart emoji down in the comments below. If you don't know what that means, if you leave that emoji, that comment down below, I reply to it. It's a fun little game. I like to see if you made it to the end. So did you? Are you here right now? Are you commenting this? I don't know. I need to put these groceries away before they melt. Um, they've been out for a while. I've been filming for 20 minutes. Hopefully this video isn't 20 minutes long. I don't know. I will see you all next week at three o'clock. Bye. Bye.